Hey guys, today I am filming my monthly makeup basket for February. So this is gonna be the last month that I'm using my winter makeup products. And I did enjoy using my products this year, but I am a little bit more excited for spring makeup, which I will start wearing in March. So first we are gonna start by recapping some of the things that I used last month. This is gonna be pretty short. I'm only gonna mention my nail polishes plus a few other products because I am gonna be doing a separate speed reviews for the new things that I tested in January. So for nail polishes, the first one I have I actually mentioned last month. This is OPI Barefoot in Barcelona and I told you guys that I wore it on its own and I really enjoyed it but I did want to compare this to some similar polishes I have specifically from Kale Polish. I did do that and while I see a ton of similarities, I like this enough to keep it for now because it was a little bit different. So I will be hanging on to this one. Then I have these two L'Oreal nail polishes that I always wear together. And this first one is in the shade Doubtson's Nude, which is a very light mauvey pink. And I also have this gold dust textured polish in the shade The Statement piece. I really loved both of these collections when they came out, but I only had one polish from each of them. I just thought they were fun collections. And the textured polish, my lid has been cracked for a while now. This polish is completely dried out, so I'm going to throw this away. I'm not going to try to revive it. But I did try, again, this L'Oreal Doubtsons Nude, and I do think it's very beautiful. It is a little bit more pinky, purpley than some of the other similar shades that I have, but I like the other ones more than this one, so I am going to declutter this one. Next, I have what I'm wearing on my nails now. This is OPI Nail Envy in the shade Bubble Bath. So you can buy Bubble Bath in their original line, which is just like a sheer light pink, but the Nail Envy line has their nail strengthener in it. So I'd be interested to try out more shades from this line because I do have very brittle nails. But this bubble bath shade is just not the tea. So my nails are not looking good. They're grown out. So I'm gonna paint my nails tonight. But I just don't love this shade. This is a great French manicure pink though. This is three coats and it's semi-opaque but you can definitely still see the whites of my nails through it so this is a great french manicure color i never do french manicure so i am going to get rid of that one as well the next one i have is a classic this is opi you don't know jacques it's a really pretty very dark color it's got grays it's got purples in it I just don't love this one on me. You guys know I don't really like dark nails in general. There are a few that I really enjoy, but this one I just didn't find to be pretty on my nails. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And the last two are keeps. This is from Formula X. It is the shade Impeccable. It's settled a little bit funny. This is also similar to this OPI one, similar to the Kale Polish shades. I'm okay with that for now. I do want to hang on to it. And then I have color club harp on it which is the best silver holographic nail polish on the market i knew i was keeping this one for sure but i'm happy i was able to get some use out of it so i am going to be keeping three polishes and decluttering four which feels great i do have two other products i tested that i am going to be decluttering the first is one of the single shadows from my custom winter palette this is color pop double date it's a really beautiful purple color got some pink tones in it like a purpley mauve it's very very pretty but it is not very shimmery it looks more like a satin on the lid and i don't like that i like my shimmers to be more on the metallic side so it still performs very well. It's a really pretty shade. When I swatch it, I love it. But the day I wore it on my eyes, I thought it just didn't pack as much of a punch as I want it to. And I had to specifically make myself pull for it. So that's why I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm also getting rid of one lip product. This is the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Raven. It's a very vampy, red color very pretty but this one just was 
a little patchy on me and I've told you guys before I wanted to really love the nude sticks lip pencils most formulas I don't like I do overall enjoy the intense matte lip and cheek pencils but I'm going through all the ones I have to make sure I love all the colors and I know that deep colors like this are hard to do and in like a matte finish that's not a liquid lip I know it's challenging for it to be fully opaque and this wasn't like super patchy but a little bit and I just don't need it so I did use all of the eyeshadow palettes I pulled for this month some of them will be in my speed reviews video I did want to talk about two other ones that I've had for a while so the first one is the Huda Beauty new nude palette I still love this I did create a look maybe two looks using just this palette and then there were several other days where I use this in combination with specifically I believe the ColourPop Super Shocks in my Partners in Cream project and I just really love this. I think the large palettes from Huda perform so so well so I'm very happy to get more use out of it and I'm glad I still really enjoy it. The other palette is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss palette. I think I only used this once and I don't even remember what look I created. I do really like this palette. I think it performs well. I mentioned this in a yearly favorites a couple years ago and there was a more red look and a more purple look I created with this palette that I absolutely loved. And I had thought about like, okay, I can declutter this palette. And if, if you literally were like, Heather, you have to get rid of 10 palettes today, this one would probably go because it's affordable because I haven't reached for it a ton. But when I actually think about it, I'm like, oh, I, I really don't want to because the four shimmers in here are so good. Then we've got some really great mattes. It's a great red, great purple matte. And there are a couple shades I could do without in this palette, namely this one right here and then that bright purple. I just don't like that one. The rest of them I really enjoy and think perform well. So I'm definitely gonna hang on to this for now. I want to use it more because mine performs well. I do think it's good quality. They're pretty shades and I don't think I have like exact dupes for any of these. So while I thought initially I might get rid of this one, I actually don't want to. So those were my thoughts on some of the things that I tested in January. Now for the things I'm gonna use for February. First I wanna show you, if you guys just saw my makeup collection video, which I will link in the cards, I showed you my monthly makeup basket. I went through all the drawers. So usually the bottom drawer, I have lip treatments and colored lip products. But because I haven't pulled nail polishes to use for the past couple months, I decided to put all of my lip care, lip balm products in the little nail polish bin. I love it. I think it's probably just gonna stay this way for another month or so, but who knows? I have my tiered nail polish rack right on top of my vanity so I could just take polishes from there when I want to use them. So we'll see what happens, but this is completely full. I just wanted to show it to you. I think it is just so cute having all of these lippies in here, lip care products. So now to get into the actual makeup for complexion, we have a lot going on like always. I need to give this a bit of a wipe down. It's looking kind of grimy. So you're going to see some spoilers in here for my Winter Project 10 pan, which I will link in the cards as well. So for my priming spray, I'm using the MAC Fix Plus Rose Scented. For my other face primers, I'm using the Becca First Light Priming Filter all over. Then for my pores, I squeezed a little foil sample of the Beauty Blender Pore Minimizing Primer into this jar so I want to get all of that used up and for foundation I'm going to be using the Catrice HD liquid coverage in number 10 light beige which is in my year-long project pan I am using this mini Becca under eye corrector for concealer for this month I am going to be using this combination so the main concealer is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Swan, which is a good skin tone match for me, but it's not very brightening under my eyes. So I am mixing in a little bit of the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the white shade, which is in my year-long project pan. And 
I really want to make sure I use this up this year. The other concealers I have in my collection, like the Too Faced and the other two, are not old, but this one is a little bit older. So I'm going to use that combo for blemishes. I'll be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. I've got my eye primer in this drawer as well. This is the little deluxe sample size and the Anastasia eye primer. There's really not too much left in here. I think that this should be finished up by the end of the month, but we'll see. For powder to set my under eyes and my face, I'm using the Dermablend Translucent Loose Powder, which is my favorite. And I will be going over top of that with a bit of the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder in porcelain. And then I also have in this jar the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Glow Powder. It was the tiniest little like foil sample ever, but it has taken me ages to get through this powder because it's very glittery and shimmery. For setting spray, I put it in this Smashbox jar, but I actually have in here the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Moving on to cheek products for bronzer and contour this month, I'm gonna be using my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I only have one more month to try to hit my goal on this, which is to finish it completely. I really don't think it's happening, but to give it my best effort, I'm going to use this to bronze and contour not going to spoil the progress for you. You will see my update coming in a few days. Then for highlighters, of course, I've got my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in the shade Pearl. And then I have my palette with my four Ofra highlights. So we've got Glaze Donut, Pillow Talk, Cloud Nine, and Space Baby. And I'm wanting something very fun and different. So then for blushes, I have the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Blush in Mauve Sunrise. Just a little sample size. Clinique Cheek Pop in Heather Pop. Tarte Exposed. The Balm in Stain Blushes in Houndstooth and Pinstripe. I'll be using Mood Exposure from this Hourglass Blush Palette and from the Juvia's Place Saharan Volume 2 Blush Palette. I will be playing around with these two shades, B and Sola. In the eye category, we have a lot going on here. I am wanting to retest a couple of things that I've already tested. I forgot to put a few extra things in my partner's cream update for last time. And because this is my last month for winter makeup, I'm just adding in a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna do my best to use everything again. I might be using things just once or twice, but I'm gonna do my best and definitely give more attention to the products that I'm wanting to review. So I have got some ColourPop Super Shock Shadows in here. This one is Koosh. Then we have Prickly Pear and Static. I have the Hourglass Scatter Lights Eyeshadow in Aura, which is the more pinky shade. I have my go to winter quad and I realized I did change out one of these shadows since last time so I did throw out NYX Coquette because it was old and dried up and I replaced it with the shade Petal Pusher from Makeup Geek. I have Huda Beauty Nude Light Obsessions. I have the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Intense Moonlight. The Pixi Liquid Fairy Lights in Bare Brilliance, which is the more taupey shade. Then I've got two colors of the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners, Junk Show and Volume. So for liners, I have two liquid ones in here because the one I've been using, which is the Benefit Roller Liner in black, sometimes I run out of juice by the time I get to the wing, so I've started to combine it with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Liquid Liner. For pencil liners, I actually have three. The ColourPop Creme Gel Liner and Swerve, which is the matte black. I also have the shade Venus, which is a bright red. And what I'm wearing on my lower lash line today is a really beautiful shimmery 
mauvey purple color and this is the NYX slide on glide on liner in the shade jewel and then for mascara i have the milani the violet one lash primer and the long comb hypnos drama and the maybelline falsies mascara this is going to be the last month that i use these two mascaras but i will keep using the lash primer for a little while i have four larger palettes i will be using this month two that are new to me and two that have been in my collection that i want to just get more use out of this is the urban decay naked cherry palette i've definitely been interested in the color pop why not palette but i don't know if i need that one and this one so i definitely want to play around with this to see if it will satisfy my cravings I have the ColourPop Give Me Straight palette, which I'm wanting to play around with more to see if I feel like I need to keep this one in my collection still. Huda Beauty Naughty Nude is one of the new palettes I got for Christmas. And Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity is another one of the new palettes that I got for Christmas, so I'm excited to test out. And here is what my Winter Custom Z palette looks like now. So again, it is the same minus just the one color pop shadow i have eight lip products picked out for this month three lip glosses one jumbo lip crayon and four liquid lipsticks they're all mauvey pinks so starting with the three glosses the first was a limited edition this is the wet and wild mega last liquid cat suit in petal poison Next, we have something new I got for Christmas. This is the Tower 28 Lip Jelly in Coconut, which was one of the four newer shades that they released that have a little bit more pigment in them. So I'm excited to try this. Then I have a Buxom Fawn Lip Cream in Rose Julep. I love this formula, but I haven't used this particular shade a whole bunch. I have a ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Cami. I've gotten rid of most of my lippy sticks, but I really love this color and it's a matte X finish, which is my absolute favorite. They're very comfortable and long wearing for a matte lipstick. I have the Dose of Colors Velvet Lip in a Mauve Story, which is the warmest out of all of these. I have the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Oh My Rye Rye, which is a pretty classic, slightly warm pink mauve. The Kylie Velvet Lip in Boy Bye, which is a little deeper, more of a berry with a purple tone. And then we have what I'm wearing today. This is Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Trouble, which is definitely more cool tone and more purple. The shade it dries down to be is different than it looks in the tube. So here are the swatches of the lip products. That's the Wet n Wild Gloss, Tower 28 Gloss, which is definitely a little pinker and warmer than I was thinking it's going to be, but that's okay. Buxom Rose Julep, ColourPop Cami, Dose of Colors, A Moth Story, Ofra Oh My Rye Rye, Kylie Boy Bye, and lastly, we have Anastasia Trouble. So those are the main products I'm gonna be using this month, and I'm sure I will be pulling in some other chopping block products to use as well, but I have a lot of things that I'm working with, especially for eyes, so I'm gonna do my best to get some use out of everything, and then again, give most attention and focus to the new things so I can review them for you guys. So I would love to know what products you plan on using for the month of February and I would love to hear your thoughts on these products in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.